be like he's going to throw a mid. Bam. Right, I beat right. him. Right. Well, here we go. We, uh, the button check is finished. We are Siegfried versus Viola. Interesting. This should be a very interesting match. Sandman, who is our usual Siegfried, uh, he also plays Viola, so this should be a yeah. match that he knows well. He's going to understand the nonsense, and he's gonna, he's got a good character to deal with it. Siegfried does really well versus Viola. Oh. Except there. Like, if they're going to play patient on the ground, you need to not stay in reverse side hold. Yes. Like, reverse side hold is, like, got, like, 50-50 stands if they're standing up. But if they're on the ground, you can't hit them with any. Nice 3B. Leading right. into the six, uh, leading into the B6. Dude. Gauntlet Buster is a, one of Siegfried's quick, uh. quick moves. So that paid off big. Oh, what? Wow. That was bad. If you duck the second hit of that, you can take a free back throw. And straight up free back throw before the third hit gets her in the air. Well, Siegfried that's just walked through them. a great match uh, combo, and that's dunked. ring out. Indeed. There's the Viola shenanigans we are known that are known to be seen in Soul Calibur tournaments. Indeed. Oh, nice egg grapple by Siegfried. Nice air kick catching Viola on the uptake. Low grapple. That's one of those ring out maneuvers that I've seen. Oh, no AGA, and then he messes up his own thing. Ends up get, getting a taunt from Ninja Guy. God. Guys are going in. Oh man. Missing the low kick might have been bad. Uh, oh, hold that Sand one. Sandman very quickly losing his precious life lead. A critical edge. That might be it. That's it. Yep, proper conversion. It's a shame. It really is. Like I said, that's the Viola shenanigans that have be that we've become so numb to because they're so common. Don't mess with Viola, but here we go. Sandman running forward. Oh, that max damage. Uh. Perfect. Perfect. There's that being a good match for Viola that you mentioned Bam. earlier. Oh, missed the ring out. Oh, that's right. But no more meter. Sandman has no meter to capitalize on it. Now Viola has him one and done. Oh, man. Get wrong out, son. Get wrong out. Get wrong out with more than a health, more than enough health to spare. So here we go into match two. Both players sticking with what seems to have been working for Viola and what will hopefully work for Siegfried. Does Sandman have a game oh, plan? Man. Didn't duck the second hit of 6 6 again. Oh, no. Oh, that's that's round. Yeah, it is. Ninja Guy is controlling the pace really well. With authority, yes. Very yeah. much in control of this match. Ooh. Oh, he took too long. Yes, he yeah. did. Uh. If he was just a split second sooner, that would have been major damage yeah. for Ninja Guy. And a commanding health lead for... There, Sandman really dropped that one. If he did it, uh, it's an AGA after he traded that 3B, I think he might have gotten a ring out. That could have just been a round for trading that hit. Well, I think he might get it anyway. Here we go. Oh, no, now it no. looks like it could be in the hands of Ninja Guy. Oh, oh and that and is, is round. Two, three, bop, bop, three. So what could we go into a game three with a clean sweep in game two from Ninja Guy? Sandman's got to figure out what he's got to do and quick. Ooh. Yeah. Base Sandman hold is just needs to dictate space, and that was just unlucky. That should have been his round by all means, but now it's just... Sandman is deftly avoiding that crystal ball for the most part. Very smart move. That thing creeps up behind you. It'll set you up for a big combo. Ooh, whipping the 3B. It's always linear. That's what Sandman is abusing right there. He knows it's always going to be in a straight line. As long as you keep walking side to side, the orb won't hit you, and it makes Viola's range not very far. Oh, no. Here we go. Walking into the combo. Oh, man. And we go into game three. 2 nothing for Ninja Guy 4-4-6. Four, four, Sandman is against the ropes. He's about to play the mirror match. I don't know how well this is going to go for him. 
Oh no. Um, actually, it might go really, really well because his Siegfried dropped a few conversions. So if his Viola was more on point, it could just work out better. Maybe he'll just bop Ninja Guy in the mirror match. Ooh. All right. So the mirror match does not seem to be working out well for Sandman. Ninja Guy very much controlling the pace of this match. Pulling ahead in the first round. This is not good for Sandman. Not at all. Sandman comes out strong in the second round. And Ninja Guy has regained his pace. And, all right, here we go. Come on, Sandman. Sandman in a bad, bad way here. That could be it, maybe? Nope, not even oh, convert man. properly. Drop the combo. Oh. Oh. oh, man. He was throwing out it. a blood. Oh, bad conversion from Ninja Guy. He gives Sandman a new lease on life and then closes it out anyway. Here we go. Match point for Ninja Guy 446. Sandman, balls in your court. Yeah, he's just not hitting that properly. Yeah, he's not even trying for more difficult combos. All right, hits the right conversion there. So Sandman took one round, but it's still a must win. Yeah, he's going to have to go three straight and then win the next two games if he wants to stay in winner's racket. Can he trigger a comeback here? Or will Ninja Guy 446 continue his dominant wins in this match? Oh, Dropping it. He tried oh to do no. it. Here we go. Ring out. Into the get bops. No. Ooh. Wow. Oh, man. Oh, he had hit them full crowds kicking to get bopped. Ninja Guy. Ninja Guy advances the winners. Now